don't believe in the boogeyman, you should. The saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode isn't over. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Critical Overlord here. So yesterday, David Gordon Green and Danny McBride had an interview with Collider to share some details on the upcoming Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. With Halloween Kills, we know it's coming out next year, 2021, or next year, 2020, and then Halloween Ends will be coming out the year after in 2021 to completely wrap up the series. Uh, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video, how they mentioned the fact that this would be their last iteration. So when asked about the chance of this being the end of Michael Myers, Danny McBride had this to say. He stated the following. I think ultimately Michael Myers is such an iconic character that no one besides Carpenter is ever going to have ownership over him. This will be our chance at the table to play with these characters. And I'm sure that when we're done, other people will come in and do the same thing or have their own reinvention. Michael Myers is iconic enough to allow that. He's like James Bond, where you can have different different actors and different filmmakers. He represents something so simple and scary that he can be translated by lots of different people. Um, with that statement, I do like to kind of agree to a. I want to agree to a certain extent with that statement. I think that once this is done, I'm hoping nobody ever does touch this property ever again. Um, I believe Blumhouse and Universal, they own the rights to the property. So if anything were to ever happen, it would be up to them. I'm hoping they never decide to touch this property again. What I would hope they do with it in the future after these next two films is that they just re-release the original movie to see how that performs in theaters, do something similar to how Disney did with The Lion King a few years back. Uh, just come out with some merchandise to remember what, where, because uh, Blumhouse is one of the top top uh production companies putting out some of the some of the best horror films of recent memory uh with get out and a lot of other stuff that's come out in recent years such as paranormal activity the original film i'm not talking about the entire series with that one uh they've been more they've been more attached to some of the more well noticeable names or well recognized films that have been coming out in the last few years so i would hope that they can use michael myers to kind of build their brand not in the sense that they need to make more sequels but then they can always remind themselves of we also have ownership of this remind people of who michael myers was and how this property this franchise paved the way for the movies that you see today and how so many movies and tv shows are still being influenced by it still to this day i mean somewhere down the line once i would say i would probably like to see another reinvention of it in probably i'm gonna be honest probably another 30 to 50 years i think michael myers it's time for him to like just hang up his knife and put i think it's time for these old slashers to kind of just be put to bed so like jason freddie michael chucky uh i love them to death i'm always game for another movie of one's coming but i can do without and I really do think that Michael Myers has reached his lifeline and it's time to kind of just go away for a bit. I understand that he just came back. I do understand that. But what I'm saying is I don't think this return should be something that should stick for the next several years. And I'm glad that's not what's happening. We've had we have a return that started in 2018 and it's going to end in 2021. So that's spreading across three to four years, four years, I believe. Uh, which is a good run versus having the other films which spread over 20 years because of the big gaps in between each film of course but I just it's glad to know that they have an end in sight uh, whereas before we didn't know what was going on they were just making movies off the fly there was different production teams uh, I'm glad that they have this sentiment on the character with Michael Myers I do think anyone can come along and tell their own version of the story if and when they please that doesn't mean any and everyone should um i would have my doubts and probably trust a few more people with for few more people than others in the film make filmmaking industry um uh, i'm looking forward to see what this how these two films play and i'm looking to see how they end it because i do think michael myers needs a definitive end that makes it not something that necessarily makes it clear that he died but something that is still goes out with a bang that's a big that gets a big round of applause for the fact that they ended the series in a way that stays true to the character's intent and it also is like a callback to the original movie that inspired everything that we've gotten today leading up to this last movie halloween ends that will be coming out in 2021 um so with that being said and knowing that this could be the end of michael myers how do you guys feel about that? Are you excited that the series is going to be coming to somewhat of an end with uh, David Gordon Green and Danny McBride in a way? I'm hoping that these two, once they end this series, I'm hoping that it stays gone. I'm hoping that it stays dead. The reason why I'm hoping that is because 
you have to end certain series at some point. Some characters, you cannot just keep making sequels to their stories over and over and over else they'll, they'll outstay their welcome. Uh, certain characters just have a shelf life and that's really what I think Michael Myers has because he is like an abs the absence of motive. We're not supposed to have any idea what he's doing. So then by you then furthering sequels, you're gonna have to now stretch your narrative to keep explaining why are you making so many sequels and now you're gonna have to make excuses for why this story is still continuing you're gonna have to explain all this other stuff and that's what happened to the old sequels and why they have gotten so much flack over the years uh but with that knowledge and knowing that this could be the end of michael myers as we know it how do you guys feel about that uh all the michael myers fans halloween fans how do you feel knowing that halloween ends which comes out in 2021 could in fact be the final chapter in this franchise are you excited about that how do you think it will end let me know all that down in the comment section below in the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if you have any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. If you haven't already, when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.